Hi friends, welcome to It's G and Me. I'm Miss G and I'm so excited for our new story today. It's called Desert Night Shift, a pack rat story. So looking at the front cover, what do you think this story is about? It's good to predict or guess what you think the story will be about based on the front cover. Well, I think it'll be about something about a rat. I see a rat here and it looks like it has a backpack. Maybe it's going somewhere. Well, let's read to see. The author, the one who wrote the words, is Conrad J. Storrid, and it's illustrated by Nathaniel P. Jensen. Now, illustrated means that they made the pictures. Oh, desert days are bright and hot. Swift, hungry creatures rule, but every little pack rat learns that night shift work is cool. Look at that desert, my friends. Wow. The great southern desert is always dry and hot. The place is harsh and rugged. It's a very special spot. A small gray rodent lives there. Her throat and feet are white. Her name is Penny Packrat, and she hunts for stuff at night. So if you remember what a character is, a character can be a person, it could be a thing or it could be an animal. So who's the character in our story today? Bum, 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 bum. Penny Pack Rat. Good job. If you just said rat, that's okay too. Penny really likes her name. She knows it suits her best because of seven copper coins stashed deep inside her nest. So let's take a good look at this nest. Wow. And there goes Penny. Look at all the different things in this nest, my friends. Wow, it's a lot of junk in there. <laughs> Her house looks like a pile of trash. The snakes stay far away. The prickly, sticky cactus spines keep predators at bay. So these are all like cactus spines. In one of Penny's many rooms, mesquite seeds pile up deep. Another room holds shiny things, a third soft grass for sleep. So let's take a good look on this page. There she goes making up her room. There's the exit, I guess. There are nails and keys and bottle caps, a watch that keeps no time. A gold doubloon is lying there aside a shiny dime. Well, a sign means next to, but I don't know what the bloom means. Let's see. I'm not sure what that means. It says next to a shiny dime. I see this thing and that might be a dime. I'm not too sure though. Let's keep reading. Now Penny's Nana, let's get a good look at Nana, right? Let me put it like this so you guys can really see a good look at that picture. Now Penny's Nana told her tales, some stories very old. How through the years the family found watches, coins, and gold. Great Grandpa found a watch, she said. Great Granny a the bloom. And what I've always wanted is a shiny silver spoon. Now if Grandpa found the watch and Great Granny found a the bloom, a the bloom gotta be this thing, right? It's got to be a coin. We figured out the word without having to look it up. We used our minds and the story to figure it out. Penny shared this with her friends. She told the ring-tailed cat, I want to find a silver spoon for Nana. She'll love that. And there go all her friends. This is a big book, my friends, with lots of details. Look at all those details in the picture. Miss G loves seeing details. Her treasure room was stacked with stuff. Let's get a good look at the stuff, huh? All lighted by the moon, but nowhere in the pile of loot was there a silver spoon. Oh, desert days are bright and hot. Swift, hungry creatures rule, but every little pack rat learns that night shift work is cool. So she has all of these different things, my friend all of these different things, but no shiny spoon. 
Now, when the moon had risen high and the scorching day was done, Penny knew she had to look. Night was her time to run. Night was when she gathered grass and cactus chunks and seeds. And night was when she looked for things, the treasures that she needs. So what's she going to do, my friends? She's probably going to look for that spoon outside, right? But night shift had its dangers too. Snakes and coyotes need to eat. If they caught the little pack rat, she would make a tasty treat. Ooh, and you can see the coyotes there. So she has to be very careful. There go her friends. Penny's friends all wished her luck when she went out this night. The elf owl hooted, look at you. <laughs> Those snakes can be a fright. The deer mouse and the ring tail said, our fear for you is real. But Penny said, don't be afraid. I'm not their midnight meal. So she's like, guys, I'm not going to get caught. And they're all warning her and they're telling her to be safe and good luck. Oh, desert days are bright and hot. Swift, hungry creatures rule. But every little pack rat learns the night shift work is cool. So she's fun. She has to blah, 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 blah. <laughs> She's having fun. She's excited. Penny tried the miners camp for metal cans and trash. Perhaps this is my lucky night for adding to my stash. The miners camp was dangerous. The coyotes roamed the space. Let's see if we can find the coyotes. There it goes one. <gasps> There goes another. But junk piles there were tempting. It was Penny's special place. Her silky whiskers wiggled as she sniffed a pair of socks. She saw three red round bottle caps piled up beside some rocks. Wow, look at that, my friends. She's finding all these different things. If you hear some noise in the background, my friends, I live in the city. Just then she heard the coyotes howl. She had to choose and fast. She ran to grab a bottle cap. Her good luck might not last. And there she is with her bottle cap. And then she saw was on her way. She saw it near a can. Something sparkled in the dirt. She grabbed the spoon and ran. Let's see, there goes the coyotes she was running from. Penny pack rat raced for home. The coyote pack was near. She stayed in shadows as she ran. She zigzagged, no fear. So this girl, this little rat was brave. And look at these coyotes, how big they are compared to her. Wow. And she still did it. She made it home and waiting there was Nana at the door. This spoon's for you, said Penny. And tomorrow I'll find more. Oh, look how happy Nana is now. Wow. Look at all those Dublins. Huh? <laughs> the desert morn was dawning fast, so Penny went to sleep. She drifted off and dreamed about that promise she would keep. And what was the promise again? to find more spoons. If you guessed it, good guess, good paying attention. And if not, that's okay. There's a lot in the story. Oh, desert days are bright and hot. Swift hungry creatures rule. Not now, even Penny Packrat knows that night shift work is cool. And there we are, my friends. This So this book, if you get it, um, it has like different words you can learn. You learn all about the different rats here too. So it's really cool if you get this book. And who were some of the characters in our story? Bum, 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 bum. Who remembers? Bam, you got Penny. Think about another one. Think about another one as I look. Huh? And her friends, the owl, the cat. Who else? Who else? The one she was finding the spoon for, bump, 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 bump. All the coyotes, kind of, but they didn't really talk. But you know who did talk at the end? Dun, 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 dun. Nana. Nana was another character. 
Good job, my friends. This was a little bit longer, but it rhymed. It was so fun. I'm so happy you tuned in. Make sure to subscribe so that you don't have to worry about it popping up. And thank you for watching. Love you guys. Bye.